Uh, hi friends with this uh, with this video I am just trying to show you how to cast a variable first how to build an expression too and finally how to use them dynamically inside your package so I have a very simple demonstration here which uh, through which we'll try to evaluate how uh, we declare define and then use with variables basically uh, till the time you run a package give them around but once uh, you uh, your package is in the execution mode basically you cannot uh, go ahead and change things so we'll start looking into uh, the package that I have here for demo uh, what I have here is a simple SQL task and then a script task uh, I think my screen has yeah so if I look at the variables this is a very simple package that I have created we have a couple of variables defined uh, here so basically if you look at first I have a base SQL uh, variable which is actually uh, which will actually store the basic uh, SQL query which I have in place uh, so basically what I am trying to query is a very simple one I have uh, I'm using AdventureWorks 2008 R2 database, which is actually uh, which is the Microsoft's database for demo purposes. So be, uh, here we have a table production uh, transaction history, which uh, keeps uh, the number of products sold. So based upon the filter criteria of product ID and the transaction date, uh, we will get the number of record I mean orders placed for that particular product ID and transaction date. So this is a very very uh, basic query that we are trying to execute so in the package if you see we have uh, the base SQL uh, declared here so this is uh, done by the base SQL uh, variable which is of string type next we have a date transaction variable which will date transaction filter which will simply contain the transaction date then we have the product ID filter if you look at this one and then we have the final SQL string now what I have what I want to show you is if you click on any of these variables and then uh, hit uh, your F4 it will open up the properties on the right side of your window so basically if you look have a look at that you will see evaluate expression to be false for all the variables that we have place ex in place excepting for uh, excepting for the one with uh, the name SQL string this is uh, this is where I wanted to show that uh, the expression evaluate expression is set to two, true first and second we have an expression in place now this is a very very uh, good practice in terms of when we are trying to uh, build packages dynamic dynamically it's important to uh, actually have simple small variables which will actually ha uh, hard code I mean the values which we want to replace it uh, instead of the entire query string so basically uh, the data uh, date transaction filter is a small variable of uh, of a string type which will take the date and the product ID is INT now the SQL string base SQL string if you look look at this one this is the complete expression which will be evaluated at the runtime by this variable so it this variable is not declared uh, at the time of uh, I mean uh, at the time of development so basically this uh, is using this uh, three variables mostly now if you if, if you take a closer look at that and evaluate your expression it will evaluate to your query so this is the query that we uh, are looking at So this is a, uh, a query that uh, we are building dynamically at the runtime. Now, if you see if you see uh, the expression, you have a casting of data. Uh, now, let me explain that the casting of data is for the product ID filter. So, product ID, as you can see in my package, I have declared it as int type now my the final SQL string variable is actually of string type so basically when we are trying to uh, execute this package will uh, throw an error so for that what we are what I am doing is I'm converting this this is the way how you convert I mean cast your uh, 
variable so basically i have casted it to a string type the int has been casted to string type for 100 bytes and this is the code page type code page type of 1252 for 100 bytes so that's that's one thing that i wanted to show i mean uh, remember that uh, use small variables and use dynamic variables which will actually uh, simply just making one or two changes uh, it the variable will uh, will generally execute in a very smooth fashion so it it will it will really be more reliable and portable for you uh, okay that was about the variables declaration and expression declaration next we move on to the package we see execute sql task here the important thing to look at is i have declared an oldb connection manager first if you look at uh, the connection give me a moment okay first we'll just see the connection that we have declared here it's uh, connecting to my servers adventureworks 2008 r2 database that's as simple and next what i am instructing the sql task is that i'll be using the source string as a variable it, it could be direct input query it could be a file connection and a variable so i am using it as a variable and the variable is the sql string the final uh, final variable that is dynamically built at the runtime and there is another thing that i'm trying to do is i have i'm storing the result set of this query if you see into uh, the result set is being stored to another variable yeah, so if i go to the result set i'll find that i am storing the uh, result of my query to an uh, order count variable so that's about it in the sql task let me move on to the next script task script task what i am doing is i am taking three read read only variables i'm reading data from if you see date transaction filter product id filter and order count filter uh, order count so these three i'm just reading their re reading their values and then i'm using that in the script the script that i have in here is is actually nothing but a, a message box which will use uh, which will read the data from this and 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 display it in the mes uh, in the message box so it's a very simple one we are simply using using this uh, script task to uh, to evaluate uh, the variable values and then just flash in a message at the run at the runtime so that's about it and now we can we are good to execute this package so important thing here is if i look at the variables i just have to declare uh, values for this the filter values okay so 2007 and the product id is as 784 so let me execute my package for these two filters so the message uh, that comes up is the order count for product id 784 for date 2007 is 24 it gives the uh, order counts the next uh, important thing is if I go ahead and change the product ID and the two filters say in I have I have recorded uh, 870 okay so I change it to 870 and I change these values so automatically it will the order count for product ID 870 for the date is 7 so that was a very quick way of showing how variable mapping and expression building is done in, in SSIS terms, uh, terms we have learned a how to uh, generate I mean create variables simple variables without any expressions first 
and then use very small variables for your filtering criteria rather than having one variable wherein you have to change expressions and everything and then you can have a variable which will actually build expressions I mean which is uh, building expression out of variables again in a variables that's point two and second uh, and, the, and lastly we have learned how to catch values I mean pass values from one uh, one task to another in uh, in this in this case it's from SQL task to uh, the script task so uh, those are the things uh, I wanted to show in this demo sessions uh, thanks so much